This is the second video of the Makey Makey Monome tutorial. In this video, we're going to cover the LED lattice. For more information, feel free to check out my website, jdubois.com. Let's start by talking about materials. You're going to need a Makey Makey or an Arduino, 64 RGB NeoPixels from Adafruit, three different colors of 22 gauge stranded wire, a bunch of jumpers, a 5 volt power supply and a power adapter, a 1000 microfarad capacitor, 6.3 volts or higher, a 300 to 500 ohm resistor, a bunch of cardboard at least 26 inches long, and a slew of tools, a soldering iron, solder, wire strippers, wire cutter, small Phillips head, hot glue, tape, scissors, a straight edge, measuring tape, and a box cutter. Let's start with NeoPixels. NeoPixels are individually addressable RGB LEDs. Adafruit sells them in long strips. The first step is to cut the LEDs into 64 pieces, cutting along the line marked by the scissor icon. Next, we tin all of the copper pads on the NeoPixels to make it easier to solder on wires. The idea is to space out the NeoPixels by 2.5 inches so that each square on the lattice contains a single LED. Since the NeoPixels have a specific direction and three separate pins, ground, 5 volts, and data, I recommend using three different colored wires to stay organized. Cut lots of approximately 2 inch strips of 22 gauge stranded wire. Next, strip the plastic off the tips and tin the wire so that it's easier to solder onto the NeoPixels copper pads. Solder together 8 sets of 8 NeoPixels. Check the label on each NeoPixel to make sure you're always soldering the right wire to the right pad. We're going to zigzag the NeoPixels over the array, so cut longer strips of wire such that you can bend the wire to reach the subsequent row of NeoPixels. Always make sure that the LED's arrows point in a continuous direction as you zigzag from one row to the next, and that you're soldering 5 volts to 5 volts, ground to ground, and data to data. Between the 4th and 5th row of NeoPixels, you're going to splice in the power supply. In between the 4th and 5th rows, the two ground wires need to be connected to the negative terminal of the power supply connector, and the two 5 volt wires need to be connected to the positive terminal. In addition to the ground and 5 volt wires, insert an 1000 microfarad capacitor across the positive and negative terminals. The longer leg of an electrolytic capacitor is the positive lead. The data wire from the end of the 4th row wraps around to the beginning of the 5th row NeoPixel, as usual. Lastly, we need to connect the beginning of the NeoPixel strip to the Makey Makey or Arduino. I solder jumpers to the NeoPixel strip to make it easy to plug into the Makey Makey. Connect the ground pin to ground on the Makey Makey, and connect the data pin to D0 through a 300 ohm resistor. To control the LEDs, we're going to need to upload new code to the Makey Makey. SparkFun has an Arduino add-on that's needed to add Makey Makey to the boards list. A link to the SparkFun page with installation instructions can be found on my website. If you haven't already, you need to install the Adafruit NeoPixel library. It comes with a few cool example sketches that are useful for testing the NeoPixel strips. After we upload the code to the Makey Makey and plug the 5 volt power supply into the power supply connector, we can test the NeoPixels! The cardboard lattice is made up of 18 strips of cardboard. You'll need to cut out 9 column strips and 9 row strips. Here are the dimensions of each. I used a box cutter and a piece of glass as a straight edge to cut the strips and notches. Once all the strips are cut, it's time to slot the pieces together. If the lattice is right side up, there should be a 22 inch by 22 inch divot in the middle that will hold the glass touch screen in place. To keep the LEDs from shifting, I hot glued them to a poster beneath the lattice and I used clay to fill the gaps between the cardboard squares. The clay also holds the lattice in place. If you don't have clay, tape or glue should work just as well. That concludes this part of the tutorial. For more information, feel free to check out my website, jdubois.com.